Hey everyone, Billy here. Welcome back to the Lux Fiat channel. And today I'm going to be going over how you could take full advantage of the Uniswap app. Remember nothing in this video is financial advice. And also remember to leave a like and subscribe down below. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so this is Uniswap and right away you could see that it's just your normal exchange, you know, where you could exchange Ethereum for any other coin you desire. Um, this is the exchange you would hit go here. Let's say I wanted to exchange for Aave. I would enter my Ethereum. It would calculate the amount of Aave that I would get and I would swap. So that's, that's pretty basic. Now we would go to the pool and this is providing liquidity to projects. So we would go to the top right here where it says new position. We would select a token that we would want to provide liquidity for. So Ethereum to let's say USDC. Um, it would, it would calculate it all. Let's say I had enough for this pool f for each token. Let's say I put, I don't know, 50 Ethereum in, it would calculate, okay, you need 23,000 USDC to provide liquidity. Okay, cool. We would hit instead of insufficient USDC balance, it would probably say swap or add liquidity and you would go ahead and hit that and follow through with your wallet. Next, we're going to go to vote, and this is kind of where uh, the voting, the governance for Uniswap kind of happens. This is where you can vote for uh, certain things to come to Uniswap, certain things to be changed, and just your general community aspect for the app. Next, we could go to charts, and it's going to take you to this page. And... Pretty much all it is is looking at charts and the volume and your general knowledge for uh, each coin that you're looking at. And so let's say if we were looking at Ethereum, we would be like, okay, Ethereum just hit new all-time highs. Maybe we should wait for a retrace. Okay, it's hitting support. Maybe now's a decent time to buy before it, you know, whatever, whatever DD you might have to do. Always make sure you're doing your research, but... Whatever research you might have to do on the token could be found here as well. That's all for this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe down below. And remember, nothing in this video is supposed to be taken as financial advice. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.